perfect. All right, moving the, the weights. Let's go, march it up. Let's get a quick warm up in those legs. Yeah, all right. Hey girl, welcome back. Yes, here we go. Time for those legs. I'm just gonna let my arms hang here because they feel like jello from that upper body workout. I used to joke when we were at the gym and say to anybody who drives a standard, sorry, right? Nobody's driving anywhere really nowadays, so it's okay, I'll just let my jello arms hang. I mean, granted, I do have to type up, you know, a thing, a seminar later, but it is what it is. It's not driving standard. All right, I'm just, like, seriously, my arms feel like jello. <laughs> Kick your butt right here. Kick your butt, bring those arms up. Or not, just let them hang, whatever works. I like moving them too, because it helps with the lactic acid, that build up that makes your muscles sore. Good. Step touch, bring it in. Step it in, make it a little squat. Take a little bit of a seat, pull those arms back, tap your hip right here. Good. We're gonna make that tap into a little heel kick in front, right here, kick it out. Tap those feet behind, right here. And you wanna say no, what do you mean? March it out, back to that march. Arms up, shake them off. Good, knees come up. Pull those knees up towards the chest. Keep that chest lifted, shoulders plugged in. Feet are flexed. A little tapping of the opposite shoulder. Make that into a kick right here. Good, back to that march. After this, one, march it out, deep breath. Shake it off. Kick your butt, feet come up. to a little booty kick. <clears throat> I'm gonna change this up. Kick your booty. Oops, didn't mean to shut it off. All right, tap it up. Bring those heels up in the center and give it a nice little tap right there. You tap, I'm gonna find the music that I want for this workout. Oh yeah. No, I don't want that. I want. Good. Bring one heel up. Reach down. Stretch it out. Sink your weight into it. Breathe. Drop it. Rotate that booty to the other side. Toe up. Sink it in. Reach for it. Breathe. Drop it. Swing it over. Up. In. Reach. Breathe. Drop it, swing it, lift it. I'm telling you, I could, I could do a rap song based on the words that I use <laughs> in these classes. Drop it, swing it, lift it. What? Drop it, swing it. See, it doesn't take very much. Not saying that people who write rap music, it doesn't take very much. I'm just saying I could get like a hit on like a top 100 billboard because I got four words, you know, in my, in my, in my, in my song. Oh. oh, we might have to deal with, um, okay, let's get started. We might have to deal with commercials, but it'll be good for me because it'll be a nice, like, pause, breathe. Let's do this. I'm going to go heavy on my weights because, what is this? Oh. Okay. I'm going to go heavy because we're starting with deadlifts. Now, again, you don't have to use weights. You can choose to, like, I have these light weights, or I'm gonna use this tiny little bag instead, right? Or maybe some salt, rock salt from the winter. <laughs> Whatever you got. All right, line those feet up with the hips. Pull that belly up and in. Now we're gonna find the sweet spot in the legs. We know all about the sweet spot in the belly. Bring those weights in front. Sink in, back stays flat, pull that belly in. Till you find, you're gonna lean in until you Find a spot where your hamstrings are engaging and you can feel it in the backs of your legs. For some people, it's right here, right? For some people, they can feel it right here, keeping that back flat, that form of your body, keeping that form is most important. Pull that belly in, back is flat, shoulders are plugged in. For some people, based on flexibility, you might have to come a little bit lower and you can feel it right in there, right? 
So you honor your body and know where your sweet spot is. Plug those shoulders in. 10 deadlifts. Let's go. Bring it down. Hold it up. Good. Squeeze the glutes at the top. And like I said before, it's not always pretty, but it's necessary. Squeeze. Seven. Six. Four, three, soft bend in those knees. Two, press that booty back and away. And one, hold it up. We're gonna calf raise from here. Bring it up, 10, 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four. Really press into all 10 toes. Three, two, come up high. One, tempo, pick it up. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Back to those deadlifts. Plug those shoulders in. We're gonna do deadlift at the top, calf raise. Ready? Deep breath, pull that belly in, back is flat, soft on those knees, press those heels in, down. Bring it up, calf raise, down. Bring it up, calf raise, that's nine. Press that booty back. Seven. Here's five. Here's three. Press that booty back. Two. Last one. Go into that sweet spot. Find your sweet spot. Kick the booty back. Press the heels in. Pulse. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Press it up. Nice job. Put those down. We're going to do a squat series. I'm going to take a quick drink first. You can choose to... There's not enough water. You can choose to use weights or not. I'm not going to use weights. Okay, here we go. Squat series. Lord. Okay, is this the song? Ooh. Okay. <clears throat> My screen is warning me. Got you, screen. All right. Here we go. Squat in. Tito, line up with the hips. Knees behind the toes, butt leads back. Chest stays up. Breathe. Squat series, let's go. Breathe, squeeze. Sit the booty back as far as you can get it, keeping the chest lifted and the knees behind the toes. Press evenly into both heels. Right here, take a seat, hold, arms up, pulse it, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, press it up, Woo! back in, sink. Step it out to the side. One side. Back to center. Other side. Step it out. Back to center. You got it. Let's go. Step it out. You got it. Breathe. One more set. Hold it here. Five squats, center, pace. Five, four, three, two, one. 
three, two, sit in it, breathe. Press, oh, five, drop.
All right, knees are under the hips. Curl the toes in the back. We're gonna plant the hands in a tabletop position. I'm gonna come forward. You're gonna lift the leg like a hydrant. 10 to one side, 10 to the other. Let's bring it down. Ooh, ah, 10. Pull that belly in, back is flat. Six, five, flex through that foot. Four, three, two, one. Bring it down to center. Other side, take a deep breath, pull that belly in, plug in those shoulders. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bring it down, sink it back. Take a second, breathe. Yeah, okay, bring it back. This time we're gonna do a, a long leg. Flex foot and lift that leg straight. Plug those shoulders in, pull that belly and keep that back flat. Press, really press into your mat or into the floor to help take that pressure off of your wrist and your hands. Stretch it out. Let's go. 10, nine, eight, seven, six, five. Breathe into it. Bring it in. Other side, take it out, take a deep breath, flex that foot, plug it in, let's go. Bring it down, hey yo, bring it back. Take a breath, take a drink. We're gonna do this time, a hydrant. Hold it up, kick it out, bring it back, down. 10 on one side, 10 on the other. Then we'll be done here and throw this away. Let's go. Okay, let's kick it up. 10, nine, eight, seven. You get that leg as high as you can. Honor your body. There's no right or wrong. Everybody had to start somewhere. Here's three, two, one. Hey, oh, plug it in, reset. I always have to kind of reset because I want to collapse and like, oh, right? Nope, not doing it. Plug it in, good form, lift it. 10, nine, eight, seven, Six. Make sure you're flexing through that foot. Five, four. We're almost there. We got this. Come on. Three, two, one. Bring it down. Oh. Nice shot. Okay. I'm going to grab weights because we're going to do some hip bridges. Come to laying on the mat. And we're going to do hip bridges. And I like to add the extra resistance to help build the muscles in my hamstrings and in my glutes. Oh, I love this song. We got two songs left and we're done. Well, this next song for abs and then, hold on. So, let me grab my weight. Roll it back. If you're gonna use weights, you just sit them right on your hips. Pull that belly in, line up those feet under the hips, press the full foot in, plug those shoulders in, take a deep breath, raise it up, go. 10. Press the heels in, breathe. Hold it up and breathe. Lift the toes a little bit so you're really pressing into the heel and pulse it. 10, nine, squeeze those glutes. Five, three, two, squeeze and lift. Bring it down. All right, I'm gonna put those weights down. Press into the mat. Kick one leg up. Flex through that foot. It doesn't matter if it's this high or this high. Right, honor your body and just know where you are and start there. Press it in, breathe, lift those hips. 10, nine, you can either press into the mat, eight, 
seven to help. Six, lift your hands. Five, four, really making your legs do the work. Three, two, hold it up. Three, pulse it. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hey, bring it in. Oh, I don't know about you, but holy moly, I feel that. Kick those legs up. Reach for the toes. And if you can't reach for them, point the toes towards the face. Bring them down. Other leg, lift it up. Again, honor where you are. Go. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, lift it up, breathe, pulse it, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, bring it down, Woo. grabbing those weights, all right, let's go, bring it up to ten, keep those knees lined up with those hips, Hold it up. The song is ending, but we gotta pulse it out one more time before we end. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Bring it down. Woo. All right, I'm gonna move those. And here we go. We got abs. Oh, little Bruno Mars. Wait, we heard this in the last one. All right. I'm gonna show you, we're doing rainbows. Huh. Well, we'll do rainbow second. So let's come down in the back here to our elbows. If this isn't available to you for whatever reason, just lay back and do a crunch. You can never go wrong with a crunch. And if you can't do a crunch for whatever reason, do some knee tucks laying down. So we're gonna come here to our elbows. Elbows line up under the shoulders. Keep the shoulders plugged in, lift the head. I'm gonna keep my head this way so I can just have good integrity and structure in my neck. We're gonna pull the knees into the chest and kick them up and then lower them down to that sweet spot, right? Pull them in, kick them up, lower them down. Use the mat. Some people can grab, like, like to grab the mat to create extra assistance here. Right, on your body, wherever you are, do what you need to do. Keep that back nice and flat. Shoulders are plugged in, belly is pulled in. Four more. Three more. Two more. Oof. One more. And then from here, hold that. Hold that with the feet up. Reach it out. Let it go. Lift it back up, low boat, let it go. Lift it up, low boat. Lift. Good, we got five more. Five, four, keep those shoulders plugged in. Three, two, and one. Lay down, Woo. We have to include those legs because this is the lower half. All right, so like in the first half, we have to include those arms, in those arms, and those arms. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do a reverse leg lift, kind of, sort of, press the hands in. You're gonna bring the legs down. I like to create this little basket under my booty, keep my lower back pressed flat against the mat. That's the goal. Now, you can go as low or as high as you need to to make sure that you're honoring your body, but you're also stepping right outside your comfort zone. So essentially, we're gonna lower our legs down and then bring them over to one side and then over to the other, creating like a little rainbow, right? We got 10 sets. So pick a side to start off and bring it over. 10, nine, eight, seven. Press that lower back in, six, five, four, Three, two, 
One. Oh, pull those knees in. Wrap yourself up. Let's repeat that whole series. And then we're done. We get a stretch and we're out of here. Bring it back. We worked our full body. Strength building for our entire body. Awesome. Elbow under shoulder. Plug those shoulders in. Head is lifted. Belly is pulled in. Back is flat. Pull those knees in. Pick it up. Bring it down. Breathe. Find your sweet spot. Lower those legs down to your sweet spot. And remember that you can bend the legs, right? You don't have to go perfectly straight. Honor your body wherever you are. You're not doing anything wrong. You're honoring your journey. Oof. Four more. Two more. One more. Bring it down. Find that rock. Reach for it and let it go. Lift it up. Go boat. Here's eight. Lift it, lift it, breathe. That's six. Oh. Four. That's actually four. That's three. Oh, no, that was four. I think. Here's three. Ah. If we do one extra, it's not going to hurt. Two. <laughs> One, good, tuck it in. Let's get ready for those rainbows, last 10. <laughs> rainbows and unicorns and sunshine. Bring it over to one side, take a deep breath. Let's go, 10, nine, eight. If you lift the head, it adds extra resistance. Seven, and I just can't do it right now. Six, five, Four, three, two, keep that lower back pressed in, one, oh, okay, holy moly, bring those knees into the chest, give yourself a hug, seriously, just take a moment here, breathe, send some love and gratitude into your body, just be super thankful for what your body just did, and for what you're capable of all the time, right, without like, creating a standard of what it's supposed to look like. Okay. Bring those legs in. Drop one leg. Keep the other leg up. Reach for your toes. Breathe. Again, if you can't grab here, grab here, grab here, right? Wherever you can. Point the toes towards the face. Feel that nice stretch back here in your calves. Breathe. Let it go. Other side. Reach it up. Reach for it. Breathe. Love and gratitude. Thank you, legs. Thank you, arms. Thank you, core. Thank you, back. Thank you, body. Bring those feet together and then a windshield wiper them from one side to the other. So tomorrow morning, for the first half hour, it's cardio. Um, and then for the second half hour, we're going to do a mat workout. But I'm being very specific that the mat workout is going to be back, core, stretch. So we're literally going to do a back exercise, a core exercise, stretch, repeat it, throw it away. All right, bring those legs in, wrap yourself up. Come to a seat, stretch those legs out. Reach those arms up, reach up and over, sink it all in, breathe. Good, come on up, cross one leg over, give her a hug. Deep breath, plug the shoulders in. Reach the hand back, twist, breathe. And release, nice, let it go. Other side, cross that leg up. If you start to feel tight later, make sure you go back into whatever stretch you need for that particular tight muscle. Turn it, reach it. A lot of people want to avoid stretching when their muscles feel tight, and it's actually one of the worst things you can do. The muscle's screaming out for attention for a reason. It's been worked. Let it go. Bring those feet in, butterflies. And so give the muscle what it needs. If the muscle feels really tight and sore, pause and stretch it out. Drink a lot of water. Get some protein in your body, some leafy greens. It helps speed up recovery. Lean it forward. Sink it in, breathe. All right, sit it on up. Stretch the legs out one side and the other. Shake it off, knees and feet point forward. Walk those hands forward, sink it in and breathe. What? Okay. She said you're one minute over. Okay, I got it, we're in. But we gotta stretch the legs. We got it. We got it. Bring it up. 
Good, bring those feet in. Rock the hands from side to side. Opening up the back and the core. Good, walk those feet in. Bring your hands forward and then press the booty up and let it all hang. Whatever that looks like for you. Breathe. And roll it up one vertebrae at a time. When you get to the top, let's bring that leg up and stretch out that quad right there. Knees together, foot to the bum. You did excellent work. I don't care how many times you had to pause or stop or breathe, you showed up for yourself and that's half of the work right there. Switch it over to the other side. And the other half is just giving yourself whatever it is you needed, right? I'm a firm believer in not pushing and breaking yourself, but instead honoring your body and then stepping outside of your comfort zone. So you acknowledge where you are rather than pretend that you're somewhere that you're not, right? And try to push yourself. That's just gonna lead to injury and fatigue and then you're gonna be like, you're gonna have to stop to recover versus, take a deep breath, arms go up. Bring them down, wrap one side. Versus taking your time and then stepping outside of your comfort zone creating that little bit of challenge over and over and over again and finding that consistent progression. Release, other side. <clears throat> Good, one side up and over. Press that hip out, reach, 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 breathe. Nice, switch it over. Shh. Reach, 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 breathe. One hand up, high five. Nice job. See you manana. Whew. 